Hey guys, welcome to the next part of our adventures in Chaos in Deponia. Uh, I think we have all the platypuses in place. So we should be able to take Lady Go on a sweet romantic dinner. Let's see how it will go on. Maybe we'll be also able to get the child girl to go with us. We'll see. We did a lot of things last time. Maybe it will be good. Now let's go to the um, marketplace. Bellevue. Old Town. And there should I've got all the platypuses off the menu. Instead, they now have rat souffle. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep that to myself. Oh my god. Just a second. How can I help you? Mm, nothing I need right now. Uh, nothing for me right now. As you like. Um. I tried my best, old mate. Just wouldn't stand on the. Noctus porem pastifidor. Yes, I also think he'll be back. Great service. Dad. Table for myself. Reserve the table. Nothing is wrong. Welcome again. Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's poetry. Platypus poetry. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd... I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, Platy Poo. Wow. I suddenly feel so inspired, elated, moved, sick. Grab a bus. Yes, I will. Okay. Maybe I didn't talk with my father. Hey, Dad. <sighs> What is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus-free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes! You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chill blains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? Uh, oh my god. Got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more, don't make me cry. Not for me, for the lady. Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now, the sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like... orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Yes, of course, you. Well, are you well versed in the lyrical arts? Mm. Sure, well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to... Read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? Mm -hmm. He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm gonna solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. Hmm. I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Ugh. You'd better. Okay. A junk dealer from Porto Fisco. Once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class. But she said, I'll pass. She thought it 
too much of a risco. Ugh. Okay. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Ugh. Okay. Bad punzel, bad punzel, uh, ringle, wrangle, runzel. <coughs> Oh, oh man. I bet I... That's what you said back then when you were playing Blind Man's Bluff. It took you three days to find... And two years until you had paid off what you owed me from the bet. Okay. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old. Stop. He's also a poet, right? Knock, knock. Hmm? You again? You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady, and, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. And the meter. What about that? No matter, as long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Hmm. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Not bad at all. Mm, it rhymes. The message is clear and the metaphors work well. And it even contains a few romantic keywords. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But th no. Go get her, tiger. <laughs> hmm. I have the feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Knock, knock. Hmm. You again. You're such a pathetic wretch. But I'm rich in spirit. Isn't that the same? I still need your help with that. Po no, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Say that again? Uh, here am I, there are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Yes. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. Uh, but first, let me give you a few more hints from father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. I really, really don't trust my father. My own father. Try to screw me. I'm sure about it. Okay, this is punchy goal. 
Oh my god, sorry, god. Oh, we won't let go. Uh, what just happened? Uh, I must have been unconscious. Uh, no wonder with the air in here. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh? Nice. And invitation for Lady Gold. What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Deponia. Lay aside certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. He will learn. Why didn't she show up? Nice. Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Mm -hmm. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well do start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. <laughs> okay, can we take... We can't. That louse! Radio equipment memo? What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Whoa! I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter! That miserable old dirtbag! Okay, I guess that's it. Let's go to the old town. If that doesn't beat all! Stealing my date from right under my nose! Your own son! Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father? He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh, I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuvak. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Huh, look who's talking. Oh, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force, kicking and screaming? Just like the trash baby that you are? Really? Oh. I'll get you for this. Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze, dear, that's all. I... Uh, uh... <laughs> All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Oh my, uh... Can I talk with him? Rufus! We would like to eat here in peace. Can't you just accept that? But you heard the lady. Oh. Okay, so I can't talk to him. Let's go to the poet, we've got the note, and he's got the radio. Crane! Crane! What is it? I found something! One last... No! Little! Don't say it! Memo! I need a... Radio! Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject, just give me the radio. Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. 
Hmm. Hello? Dad? Rufus, is that you? Get off the line now! I'm waiting for a radio message from my bro- Just get off the line, okay? You're bothering me. What? Hey! What the... Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very... noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, but you have a real backbone, and you aren't such a sissy. That's true. Oh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Great, so we've got two out of three goals. Let's change her to the baby goal. That's the last one that we need. Oopsie, I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. And now, uh, I've already talked with her. Oh, it's you! Her, How actually. nice! Yeah. Wait here, I'll be- Yay! I need to go... ...to the submarine to get the hand. Tournament hat. And we hatch. Hello, Cletus. Okay, we did that. And since we spoke with one of the henchmen of unorganized crime, we take the razor fish and try to Get the kitty. <laughs> Shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuff. Then where's the real kitty? Ah oh, well, who cares? Oh. Uh -oh. What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. Yeah. 
what's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with him? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? I want to make Donna an offer. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. <clears throat> Forget it. I refuse to negotiate with criminals. Have it your way. Go, go ahead. ahead. A see. quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> Donna says... No. What? I mean, pardon? Are you serious? <laughs> now you have me confused. Are you being serious <laughs> or not? <laughs> this is strange. <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it. Two so far. How did that happen? Okay, so... Can I talk to them? Yo ho, yo ho! Unorganized criminals, yo ho! Okay, Donna? Hey Donna, any jobs for me? <laughs> well, I'm afraid it'll have to wait. I have my own mission. Oh, okay, so to the bridge. Tag the hand. Finally, my own tournament hand. Nothing more in here. Let's go back to the tavern and try to play with the guy. Oh, Garlef. Garlef from the resistance. He uses mainly scissors. On guard! What is what this? Said. A challenge? Let me see. Yeah, those are actually real tournament fingers. And they're not loaded. So, let's get started. Are you ready to play rock, paper, scissors? Hmm. I'm ready. Well then, lift your hand. One, two, three. He uses scissors. Rats, it's stuck. No, we can't. Uh-huh. And I lose. Ha, I won. So you need to surrender two fingers. What? So what did you think this was about? Get on with it. Put your hand on the table. You didn't stand a chance. I told you so. Wanna play a game? Mm-hmm. Rats, it's stuck. No, we can't. What is that? Oh. Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round, so you need to surrender two fingers. And I guess that's his win, but never mind. That might also be a rock. What the? You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh, well, it ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There, you won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? And again. What the? You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh, well, it ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There, you won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? Yeah, I will. Again. What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. He's really stupid. Again. What's that? 
Rock, you're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. He has no fingers left. So he can't use the scissors. So he will go with rock. So I need to go with paper. Impossible. Perfect you event. you beat me! <laughs> Don't mess with Rufus. That's what I keep saying. Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you. Well, be that as it may, I'm an honest player. And I keep my word. This is our secret knock. Can you remember that? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Can I hear it again? Uh, but you mustn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Nobody but go. What was that? I need some alcohol now. Ah, me too. Okay, let's speak with Go. Oh, it's you! How nice! Mm. It is done. We are resistance fighters. Really? Sure. I even know the secret knock. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? We have to go to Janos and get our instructions. Last one, there's a rotten egg. But no, no. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, rats. Oh, rats. To the marketplace. To the dark alley. And use the knock. No, wait. That isn't the secret knock. Uh, I know. I just got it a little mixed up. The knock goes. Wrong again. Beat it. Crap. It's just because of that snappy groove they play in the marketplace. How to turn it off? The generator? Again? But that's only for tavern. Yeah, that's only for tavern. How do I do it? Oh. I need to make the music stop. And I don't see anything that could Help me. Can I talk with the you pharmacist? What? Where? I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? Have you got any sedatives? Yes, but you need a prescription. I've got a prescription right here. That's not a prescription. That's a button you tore from your coat. Are you quite sure about that? Listen, I may be blind, but I'm not dumb. Well, maybe you should get a second opinion. Mm. <laughs> Another cucumber, please. Sorry, no can do. For one thing, they are no longer grown because of certain incidents. Partial paralysis, skin irritation, spontaneous gene mutations. Also, it's strictly one to a customer. Dang! It was really good, you know. Hmm. Uh, nothing I need right now. You get what you deserve. No, not this. Hmm. Out. Oh, wait. I'm new here. Are there any sites you would recommend? Very funny. I'm blind. Just in case you hadn't noticed. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me! Mm. 
From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Oh, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. Hmm. Oh, mm, I'd noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. See you later. Not if I see you first. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Yeah, hmm. I had to treat a bit that of could be right. This was yeah. really... Finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knock. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? But that's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. Hmm. Huh. With my superb memory, I actually ought to remember how it goes. He did knock it once before. All right. What about it? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ow! I can't believe this! Weren't you gonna knock? Hmm, that could... But I'm not... Could you knock the old one again? Just... And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. <laughs> Don't make me come out there. Hey, that's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't I see the it. humor in knock-knock jokes. Huh? There's nobody here. So it wasn't a knock-knock joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Liebold. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay. But only because it's you. Now I've got it. Oh my god, it's so hard. Hey, that was right. Of course it was. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? Ah! Okay. Another new recruit. At last. Our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Just listen to you giggle. <laughs> stop it. No, wait. Don't stop. How can I stop if you never tell me what it is that defines you exceedingly humorous? <laughs> Bravo! Awesome! But... <laughs> Seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because, you know, I'm really looking for the hideout of the Resistance, not a carnival. You have come to the right please. True. Carnival was last week. They look fucking stupid. Really? Oh, hello Rufus. Have you joined the resistance too? That's me. Always in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> Let's go. Nothing's happening here anyway. But Janos said I need to stay here and fight for our grand cause. He's the leader after all, right? What do I have to do to make you come along? I'm so sorry, Rufus, but as long as Janos is in charge here, I simply can't leave. How can he be in charge? You can barely understand a word he says. True genius can never really be understood. Oh. Okay. Janos is an idiot. Janos says one must be an idiot to go up against the Organon. In that case, he's probably overqualified. I would be a much better leader than Janosch. But Janosch has the master concept. Bah! 
Janosch doesn't even know how to pronounce concept. That's just because of his damaged tongue. He says it's an old injury that never healed properly. Did he eat too many chili dogs? 25 chili dogs in 10 minutes. Wow. See? He's as tough as they come. <laughs> My concept is better than Janosch's. Really? But Janosch says his concept is the best. So how can yours be better? Just wait and see. This is so exciting. Don't hmm. go away. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm safe here with Janosch. <laughs> That's supposed to be a plan? <laughs> All I can do is laugh in disdain. They haven't even drawn in a giant eagle to rescue them from an exploding high-rise at the last second. <laughs> okay. Oh, slide projector. Greetings, recruit. What's up? <laughs> Don't tell me those are cardboard swords. What else? We are patifists. Gesundheit. The word is greetings with an S. That's what I said. Greetings. With an ish. <laughs> you call yourselves a resistance cell? You look like a bunch of total losers to me. That may be your first impression, but the truth is, we're a fanchishin bunch. Yanos! What's a new friend like a glass of orange juice? No thanks, Mom. Fair worthy again. Huh. You guys being venturesome? Well, at least we have a concept. So, what's your concept? They're sitting here discussing, snacking on ships, and questioning about the unfairness of being oppressed by the Organon. <laughs> and what exactly are you hoping to move that way? Move? Who said anything about moving? Well, isn't that sort of implied by the term underground movement? Oh, that, yes. Well, of course we are moving, as well. <laughs> I wasn't talking about circling the sun and drifting away from the other tectonic plates. Oh, hmm. Your concept is crap. For crying out loud, you can't even pronounce the word concept properly. If you have a better concept, then let us know. I've got... A concept. A what? A concept. As in plan. Ah, a concept. For a second, I thought you said concept. But if you mean a concept, I'm very interested. Just insert your slidish into the projector. I've got to go. Your facilities are upstairs by the front door. FIFA revolution. Okay. Let's use the slides. See what's going to come up. Hey! What is that all about? I'm taking matters into my own hands now. You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Check, check. With clear elocution. Check. In short, someone who could go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. <gasps> Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station is charismatic enough. I was talking about myself, you dodos. Don't make me laugh. What could possibly qualify you for that kind of responsibility? What do you think? I've got a concept. Yes, oh yes, a slideshow. I bet this is going to be so exciting. Watch and learn. Um. Oh, what is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything. A symbol. A shimbo? How mysterious. The concept sounds pretty exciting already. Positively mystic, with just a hint of legend. Shut up, Leibold. And what does it symbolize? It shows what will become of us if we don't act right away. Wow, this is shocking. You're a pretty glib talker. But do you have any proof for your claim? I most certainly do. Here. What's that?
This is an Orkanon blast tower. The Dark Exchequer has distributed these towers around the planet. I find that disturbing. I'm scared. We don't quite understand. Why would the Organon build towers like that? What's the purpose of those bases? Hmm. Our enemy will try to make the planet explode. What? But are you really sure? Of course. It's true. The order comes from the Elysian Council of Elders. They have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Inconceivable. But what are we going to do about it? The Resistance has to start an offensive. Attack the Organon. Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where to strike. Yes, we do! I am in possession of secret knowledge <laughs> about the exact position of one of these towers. Wow. He seems to be really well prepared. I thought there were hundreds of blast towers. Why should we tackle this particular one? Our enemy might... explode a bomb here and thus make the area around the Rust Red Sea uninhabitable. That's horrible. Rufus is right. We must prevent it at all costs. But what comes next? What about all the other blast towers? The Ascension Codes might be the one Joker we haven't played yet. So far, I understand it all. Can you give us a brief summary? I will do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can do it myself. No, no, I will summarize this. Uh-oh. All right, whatever happens, don't laugh, Rufus. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. W what was that exactly? An Organon Blessed Tower. <laughs> 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 oh, my belly hurts. <laughs> He's done it again. What a jerk. Oh, just when it was getting really exciting. I am disgusted. Get lost, you scoundrel. <laughs> 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 oh man, I blew it. <laughs> okay, I've got an idea, but unfortunately I have to end it uh, here today. We'll get back to it in the next part. Thanks for watching and see you again.